paparazzi All right, let's start off with what your name is. Shelby Sheehan. Shelby Two Gun Sheehan. All right, and uh, where are you fighting out of? Fighting out of Gracie Baja, Texas, Draculino. Cool. How'd you meet Draculino? I met Draculino actually. I went on a trip to Brazil and I trained with uh, De La Hiva there. And I ran into a guy. And he was the one that actually was like, man, you got one of the best jiu-jitsu guys right by you. And I didn't even know. <laughs> so he's actually, I heard about it in Brazil, and then I came and looked him up. And cool. So you had been previously training before you met Drake, right? Yeah. I um, started up in Dallas at Lion's Den with Guy Mesger up there, which was predominantly grappling. And I had a couple amateur fights up there. And then... MMA wasn't what it is now, so got a good job offer, went and worked for a couple of years and got the itch again and got back into it. Well, what, what initially got you into grappling, uh, martial arts, and MMA in general? Um, I'd always, I've always been an athlete, like played sports in high school, and I always played sports, you know, out of high school, and actually... A friend of mine that I went to high school with is in the UFC. He started in the UFC. His name's Mike Swick. I'm sure you probably oh, know yeah, him. Cool. And that's the first time that I really started hearing about MMA, hearing about him. I remember he'd always do kickboxing, but it wasn't really MMA yet. And uh, one of my friends was like, man, you'd be really good at that. You know, you've always been an athlete. You were really good at wrestling. And so I decided to go and check it out. And that's just kind of how it got started. That's awesome. So were you training with uh, Swick at all? Or no. You never. just knew him through high school? First? Yeah, I just knew him through high school. Kind of lost touch. He'd always go on trips to Russia and Thailand and hey guys, stuff. You guys, stay so. where you are! Yeah, stay just are. one of my best friends is his best friend, and he kind of was kind of word of mouth. He told me about it. And like, man, he's going to be on the this show called The Ultimate Fighter. <laughs> like, nobody knew who it was. It was the first one, you know, so <laughs> it's kind of crazy. That's cool. Okay, so... Um, I hear you got a fight coming up right now. What is your record currently? Uh, well, it'll be my first pro fight, so zero and zero. Okay. Um, fighting a guy named Cody Phillips. He's with Bam Bam Martial Arts. Good, good fighter. Um, when they offered me the fight, I knew right away who he was, and uh, he's good. He's good. He likes likes to stand up, so I like that. That'll be good. Um, I heard he he thinks it's gonna. We're just gonna beat each other up on the ground, is what I heard him say, supposedly. So I don't know. We'll see about that. But it's uh, July 22nd at uh, Houston Arena Theater. So great. And then uh, I think you're gonna be the first fight that goes on too, right? Yeah, I'll be the I'll be the opener. All right, man. Get get things started right. Is this the one at the arena? Is it the yeah, it's at Houston Arena Theater. Okay, great. Yeah, they yeah. have really good seating there. So. Yeah, it's it's great seating. There's no bad seat arena seating. Even if you're the last row, you still can see the cage. You still got a great view, and plus they have you know big screens up top too. So it's a good good venue, man. It should sell out too, I would think. Yeah, for sure. It's it's always been good every time we've gone there. Um, so is your only interest in MMA? Or do you still do jujitsu tournaments or what? No, you know I've never done a jujitsu tournament. I've uh, I just I did a couple grappling tournaments in uh, up in Dallas. That's it. That's I've never done a jujitsu tournament or anything. Okay. I know I noticed you know rolling through you were in the the gi the last class. So I noticed that you you still like the gi. Is it something that you consider separate from your MMA training? Is it something you just do for fun, or is it something you think supplements your MMA training? It's something that supplements. I was kind of on the opposite side before I got here. You know, I wasn't. I never worked in a gi. Actually, the first time I ever worked in a gi is when I went to Brazil, <laughs> and it kind of opened my eyes and. You know, Draculino, whenever he sees you getting sloppy or whatever, he makes sure you get in the gi, and that's what he's been, you know, harping on me. And, I mean, he knows what he's talking about. So, I, it definitely, so you do notice a difference? Oh, I definitely notice a difference. That, like I said, it's it's opened my eyes. I I, uh, I guess I was hard-headed about it before. I, mainly, I just didn't know what I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> that's good to hear because a lot of people, that is one of the bigger controversies, is they say that, 
Yeah. The key doesn't have any place and it doesn't help at all. So it's really good when you hear someone who comes from a background who had no idea what the gi was and how it benefits to come in there and say, hey man, you know, I actually do agree with that now. And so you kind of switch like that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, definitely. Uh, like I said, I was on the other side and then getting the gi on and it's just, you know, little little bitty things here and there that the gi helps with. You know, if you can get if you can get position in the gi, you're gonna get position in no gi, that's for sure. So and and if you can get the same, you know, vice versa. If you can get out of stuff when somebody's got a hold of your gi, you're gonna be able to get out with no gi. So it it's definitely got a place in MMA for sure. All right, awesome. All right man, so I appreciate it. Is there anything that you wanna to say to any uh previous fans who's been watching your fights or any new ones you're gonna gain after this uh first pro debut? No oh, man, come out July 22nd. I think uh, doors open at 7, 7.30. Fight start at 8. I'm the first fight, so get there before 8. Come root on two guns. Dracolino, best jiu-jitsu teacher in the world. <laughs> Gracie Baja, Texas, baby. All right, brother. Appreciate All right, it, man. Cool. Thanks.